here Shopify geolocation tutorial so in this tutorial I'm gonna show you how you can uh, use Shopify geolocation what is Shopify geolocation and it's a whole tutorial about it so make sure you watch this video till the end and learn how you can use it so first of all as all can see I'm in Shopify main dashboard right now and I haven't installed anything this is basically a new account so this is from your PV that you don't know how to do is uh, so it's basically new so there, as as you all can see, we have uh, like many options right over here. But first of all, we have to go to Add Apps. In Add Apps, just press Add Apps, and right over here, as you all can see, you get to see many apps. But just press on Shopify App Store, and it will load up in a few seconds. So there we have it. As you all can see, we are in Shopify official App Store. So once you're here, just search up on the search side to search up geo location so once you search that up just uh, type in enter and it will do this and as you can see our geo location is right over here so the, it's telling us about geo location right now so if you don't know about geo location geo, geo location is basically when you got like um when you are running a store and uh, you got different currencies in it and you, you know your shop is international and people want to buy stuff from it so you can just uh, they can just by tapping a one button they can change the, the currency and check the prices of each and every item that's in your store so yeah i think that's a pretty good feature and uh, i think a lot of people would use it so let's just give it a try and install it so i'm just gonna press on install So it's just gonna install in a few seconds as as all can see it's redirecting me. And as all can see it's already in my Shopify and it's telling me to link my Shopify store with geolocation. So what it's telling us, it's telling us you're agreeing to share personal information with this app. Alright, I am. And alright, let's just press on install app. So there we go, it's installing right now. And there you have it. So uh, once you have installed, you'll see this uh, uh, problem right over here. As you can see, it's telling us you need to add country slash regions to start uh, uh, using geolocation app. So don't worry if you see this, you can just fix it easily. So what you have to do is go to settings. So once you're in settings, just go to markets. And in markets, as you can see, I got two shops right over here. So one of my country is active and the other one international isn't uh, act, is it inactive. So what you have to do is press on this arrow. It's gonna yeah there we go. So as you can see my international market is inactive. I'm just gonna press active here. As you can see I'm just gonna press here and press active. So once I've activated it, just press save. And as you can see market activated and it's showing me the geolocation that it's enabled. I'm just going to press open. So it's redirecting me to the geolocation. Maybe it will take a while, but let's just wait to what, what happens. But yeah, let's just move on to online store. So once you have like installed, uh, let's go to your online store and press on Teams. So once you're on Teams, as you can see, I I am sure that I've installed geolocation properly and the geolocation is installed. So yeah, it will show. It will show. Yeah, as you can see, it's here right now. And as you can see, I mean, uh, I've basically made and I have the recommended preview as uh, my own country and I can select all the international countries that Shopify offers. So once you're here, just um, go to online store and press team. Obviously, once you're here, just press on team and as you can see, just press on customize. So this is basically our store uh, customization. So once you're here, just press uh, on, as you can see, you get many options over here. Just press on add header. And in the header, you will see this option. It's basically by geolocation, as you can see. You can convert uh, into into any um, uh, like internet. Just like just like we added. 
and it, it can show up for mobile uh, and maybe down yeah as you can see country slash region so yeah that, that, that there we go but make sure you, you but doing before that you have to like make sure you do a few settings just to make sure that it is going right and well I'm just gonna press on settings and tie and find out what's missing because you have to copy the same settings that are in this video otherwise it won't work the geolocation Yeah, every everything kind of seems fine. Uh, like I see no problems right over here. But yeah, once you have done that, as you can see, we now officially have geolocation, and we can now change the currencies and everything of our market. So once you've done that, just press exit, and it's it's just basically saved. So you have to go back to your apps once again, geolocation. So I don't know why it's taking uh, this long to load up geolocation, but yeah, well, as I as I saw geolocation earlier, that geolocation is basically there. You just have to go to settings once again, and in settings, uh, uh, going to locations, just go to locations and make sure that you have added your location, because you know, most of the people don't have their location as you can see. You have to make sure that you add your location, and the first option is to add your location name. So add uh, add the location that you live at uh, the short name of uh, to easy identify. I'm just gonna type in something random, just like Paris warehouse. All right, or maybe my country with the name. All right, there we go. Now uh, address. Uh, just give a random address, but now I'm giving a random address. But for you, you have to give your real address for the geolocation to get used. So yeah, make sure that you add your actual address in it. So I'm just gonna type in something very randomish. And apartment, sui, or etc. You just have to add your actual apartment and stuff like that. I'm just going to type in. And our postal code is already there. Put in your phone number and press save. Once you've done that, as you can see, my location is added. And when you go to markets, as you can see, the conversion rates and everything, you have added your own market. But like if you're not okay uh, and you want to add a different type of market, you can obviously add any type of market, so just so you know, you can add your own country's market too, so people can use it uh, easily and do its stuff. So it, as you can see, it has all the countries in it, and you can actually use whatever you want. So yeah, once you've done that, just make sure that your geolocation is pinned, and you don't have deleted the app. As well as as you can see, I'm just here, and uh, yeah, that that that's it. And you, you you've basically used your the geolocation and it's inside your Shopify store now and people can basically convert the money and you just basically have this this feature right now and yeah good for you so yeah that's basically it on how you can use Shopify geolocation and that was your Shopify geolocation tutorial so yeah I hope I helped you guys out and that was for this video so yeah peace out.